Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have ourselves a brand new promo coming to FIFA 22 Ultimate Team, the Adidas Numbers Up Don't Stop Till You're 99 promo. Now this promo is brand new. We've never seen it before. I also think it might be the first ever promo with an actual company like branding it with Adidas. And I think that is gonna be very interesting to watch and see how that plays out throughout this whole entire promo. But I wanna talk about what to expect, what kind of cards we're gonna be getting, what kind of player boosts we could see as well, right? It's all about the 99 pace, 99 dribbling, 99 passing. It's those three major stat upgrades that I wanna look at today. And I also wanna take a look at the market because there's a lot of crazy stuff going on with this market right now as we head into the first ever milestone rewards and season one ending transitioning into season two. There's a lot of panic. Also, EA gave out some base icons to players that received mid icons out of the uh, original pack. And they gave out cards that were tradable. So that's kind of creating a frenzy on the market right now as well. But first things first, we have to get in and talk about what this promo is about. So basically, we knew this before. EA dropped a little bit of a hint on one of their live streams about, you know, two or three weeks ago that we were going to have a brand new promo called some sort of Adidas Don't Stop Till You're 99. And of course, now this is confirmed to be the promo we are getting on Friday. It must be officially called the numbers up, right? Because they're getting specific stat boosts on these players. Now, from what we know, from what has been released and been talked about, it looks like this promo is going to be made up of promo cards of players who are sponsored Adidas athletes or partnered Adidas athletes that have a sponsorship with that company. And basically there's three different type of boots that Adidas make, soccer boots, right? They make the Copa boots, the Predator boots, and the X, right? There's like three different, I guess you could say models. And based on these three models, players in this game are gonna get promo card boosts up to 99 from whatever kind of corresponding boot that goes along with their upgrade, right? Now, it doesn't look like the stats are gonna go to 99 right away. So we're not gonna see 99 rated cards on Friday. It looks like it's gonna be a gradual upgrade, right? That reminds us of some cards a few years ago in FIFA. We'll talk about that. But what we can kind of decipher from this loading screen is you see different things on here. You see down in the bottom left, you see the X and 99 pace. So this is kind of the symbol, right? If it's the X shoe, you go to 99 pace. Now we already have a card that has been shown on these images about a month ago on the EA live stream. They showed Gio Reyna with that X and 99 pace. So one of the cards as part of this promo will most likely be an Adidas version Giovanni Reyna with 99 pace. So that'll be one of the items that we get. That's pretty dope. On the right of the loading screen, we see that Copa is gonna have to do with the 99 passing right? That's in the bottom, right? And then up here in the bottom top right behind my face cam is Predator, which is going to be 99 dribbling. So it's going to be interesting to see what players are included because there are a ton of Adidas sponsored athletes. If we take a look at this short list right here of players, we've got Lionel Messi, we've got Mohamed Salah, Lucas Mora, Kaylor Navas, Jao Felix, uh, Timo Werner, Deli Ali, Chiro Immobile, who I believe is rumored to be in as well. Jamie Vardy, Diogo Jota, Gareth Bale, Paulo Dybala. I mean, there's tons of concepts. I mean, look at these, right? Messi, Martial, Delict. There's tons of these players that could get updates as they are Adidas athletes. You know, the, the potential with this promo is incredible, right? A 99-paced Messi or a 99-paced Martial with an upgrade on their card already in other statistical areas like a normal promo card would get could be incredible. 99 passing on Bellingham, 99 passing on Dybala, right? There's also the potential we could see for maybe some cards that don't look as hype, right? And I think this is the same problem that we ran into with Rule Breakers is that they boosted some stats on these cards that we didn't really care about, like Holland getting a huge passing boost. Like, nah, not really. We would have loved a big dribbling boost, right? Make him more agile on the ball as a striker in this game. Now, of course, the passing boost on Holland is still kind of cool, but like Joel Gomez, the passing boost. Not that, not that hype, right? Or Fabinho here with the dribbling boost. Pogba with a dribbling boost. Okay, but not super duper duper hype, right? So I think that's the only downside to this promo. Now, the other thing you have to note is that these cards aren't going to get 99 rated all like right off the bat, right? As you can see in this other graphic that is from the EA live stream, it says, don't stop till you're 99. Throughout the season, selected players will receive boosts until they reach 99 in one stat 
So that is what reminds us of how they used to drop the 99 rated on FIFA 19 with the Scream team. It's a little bit different, but this was the other promo that we've had in the past couple years that has given us 99 rated stats. Now, here's another potential problem with this. They're obviously not going to be 99 most likely when they come out. Like Giovanni Reina, of course, it shows him as 99 pace right here in this little picture, right? But if he, if he starts out at like 85 pace and they upgrade in like increments of like three or four, like the thing that's going to be key to this promo as well is how fast are they going to upgrade to 99? Are we going to have to wait until like June to hit to get 99 pace on these cards when it's like team of the season and it's, you know, not that hype? Or are we going to be getting 99 pace on these cards like by March or, you know, by team of the year in January? So that's what I'm very interested, interested to see is how fast these cards upgrade in their, their 99 stat or their upgradable stat. How often they upgrade? Are they going to go in increments of like two or three? Or are they going to go in, in increments of like five, right? I think it depends on the card already that is there. So I'm that's I'm really curious to see how this is all explained and how EA do this on Friday. But it's pretty hype, right? I mean, you take a look again at some of these cards. Like there's some big names that could be involved with this promo. Gareth Bale, again, as we talked about, a Bale special card would be absolutely insane. Uh, a messy special card. A lot of people think that Quadrado might be getting an item since he was not included in Team of the Week. Um this past week, yesterday. So, I mean, there's a lot of hype with this promo. There's a lot of potential. Now, I think the next information that we're going to learn officially from EA is we are going to learn the um, probably some of the players that they're going to show. On today, on Thursday, I would expect to see an updated loading screen with maybe some hints, maybe some more information on how these cards are going to upgrade. But again, that is what it seems as of right now. That is what we know about the Adidas numbers up don't start till don't stop till your 99 promo. I think the actual they're going to be called numbers up cards uh, and it's the whole don't stop till your 99 is like you know they're going to get upgraded until they reach 99 rated. So I'm interested to see the branding on this. I'm interested to see some of the players that are in it uh, and all the Adidas athletes that couldn't be involved. This would be pretty cool. Now one other thing that was added to the code tonight which I find very interesting are packs that give out players by their specific rating, like pace, passing, dribbling. You see here, there's a guaranteed 82 plus passing pack, guaranteed 82 plus dribbling pack, and a guaranteed 82 plus pace pack. So again, you think about 82 pace or 82 dribbling, 82 passing, you might be getting a bronze or a silver card because there's a few cards out there. So I'm I'm really curious to see how these packs are put out, but this it seems to be they're, they're focusing on the individual attributes on the face card stats of a lot of these items that they're going to be releasing as a part of this promo. So, I'm kind of I'm kind of hyped for this cuz it's brand new and I'm also wondering if EA has to like if EA has a partnership with Adidas and this is like the first ever promo that incorporates like another company inside of the game of FIFA like Adidas like this. I'm just wondering if EA is going to put out really good content for this promo because they want this to happen more often or they feel like they have to live up and you know, give out a certain metrics to Adidas. I don't know. That's getting into some kind of high level business thinking for their company. But anyways, I'm excited because there could be some really big names as a part of this promo in its own right. So that's kind of what I would expect. Again, the next image or next learning opportunity knowledge that we should get about this promo would be today as a promo screen, uh, a loading screen around maybe six to t eight to 9 p.m. UK, maybe 10 p.m. UK depending on how fast they update it. I was surprised that they dropped a loading screen yesterday on Wednesday because Rule Breakers isn't even done yet. I mean, Rule Breakers is still here uh, in packs in this game. Wait, which, wait a second. Did they just upgrade this? Did I just see something? Rule Breakers Team 2 is now available in packs for one day and 14 hours. These cards are in packs till Friday. EA is messing things up right now, man, because that used to only stay until Thursday. So I don't know what's going on here. That makes me not want to buy these rule breakers even more. They've been so supply this week and they're now in packs for another day. I mean, EA Sports, that's crazy. Did they just update that? I think they did. All right. Well, you're probably going to see a tweet from me on Twitter posting about that because that is a change that I just saw. And that adds up to Friday, not Thursday. Anyway, today is Thursday. We've got Division Rivals rewards and the Milestone rewards. And as you can see, when I'm recording this, there's about four hours left until this is released. The market has dropped off a lot. Player prices across the whole entire game are dropping because of people getting afraid for what to expect 
uh, with these rewards getting released on the market. Out of packs cards are getting sold off and especially some of your in packs golds. Take a look at Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo was like 780,000 coins earlier yesterday on Wednesday and right now he is 730 K on the market. Neymar is out of packs. He got a brand new inform, which the dynamic image on that Neymar is absolutely stunning, by the way. I love that from EA Sports. Um, Neymar was 770K. He's, or sorry, 670K. He's now is uh, 634. Rafael Varane um, is down from like 160,000 coins. He's like 140 right now. Is that real? 144? All right, that was a bit of an undercut. He's about 150 right now on the market but big price drops a lot of panic selling honestly uh it's not just on gold cards as well take a look at dina tally dina tally right now is 700k that's actually crazy 700 000 coins flat for this card who was like 780 or 790 and i'm taking a look at this market tonight and you know a lot of the stuff that is not in packs especially some of the you know old promo cards like i was watching marquinhos's inform who is out of packs but still a card that i think a decent amount of people um, you know, might add into their teams today. I do think that you are going to see a market rise on part of this market today after 6 p.m. I'm going to focus on stuff that is out of packs or very, very rare because that is obviously not getting uh, impacted at all today by pack supply. Also, another reason why I think the market might rise, you have so much panic selling of people that are afraid of these milestone rewards, which we did confirm through the pitch notes. I was talking about this yesterday. Um, you won't get both of these rewards. You'll only get whatever milestone you are at. So like I'm milestone two, 50 out of 50. I'm only going to get this rare mega pack, right? Sorry, sorry if I was a bit confusing about that yesterday. I'm not going to get the milestone one. I'm not going to get this reward and this one. I'm only going to get the highest level achievement that I have achieved, not the other lower ones, if that is the case. So just to kind of point that out. Yes, there are going to be a lot of packs open today. A lot of people are panicking because of that. They think that people are going to pack the untradeable version of a card that they might already have in their team tradable. But also with this loading screen that has been released, um, you know, people are probably going to be saving their packs as well. I know that there's a rule breaker team that is in packs and I guess uh, it's out in packs for another day, which is interesting because that would be the, the first full two week promo that we've had this entire year. Suarez is 568. That is crazy panic selling on that Suarez card. Holland is down a bunch as well. I actually snagged one of these just because I thought it was really, really cheap. Uh, for what is it? Is he like 460k right now? It's crazy, right? It is crazy how cheap some of these cards have dropped in price um, in the panic selling, right? In the panic selling, these cards have just continued to drop lower and lower. Now, I was looking at some of these cards, like even Phil Foden tonight, 330,000 coins. He's dropped off like 25, 30,000. He was like 370, actually. So he's dropped off almost 50K in price if he gets down to 320. I really don't want to touch these cards now. If the menus say that they're going to be in packs until Friday, that is news. That is inconsistent news for me. Yeah, yeah. And I really don't want to touch these cards uh, unless it, unless it's something that is out of packs or the golds, right? Uh, again, I do think that there's a lot of people panic selling right now. And there's a lot of people that are under the impression that you cannot qualify for weekend league until the new season starts. So that is one thing that I'm keeping a careful eye on tonight as well is even though we've had a lot of supply this week and a lot of prices has dropped, I'm kind of taking a look on the market at some of these meta gold players like I talked about, you know, even that Ronaldo uh, or Hyunmin Sun has dropped in price uh, from 90, 94, 95,000 coins. He's like 84K right now at the moment. And then if you take a look at a lot of these cards in the 59th, a lot of these cards have chem styles, which means it is pure panic selling. People listing these cards up because they are afraid that they're going to drop in price with the rewards today. And again, I really don't think there's going to be a huge drop. I think there might be a small dip when the packs are opened. And then you're just going to see a lot of the market rise up afterwards uh, as people who open their rewards or maybe didn't even open their rewards. They were looking for the market to crash today. And if the market really does not go down that much, which I don't think it will, people are going to start buying cards because people are, again, under the impression that you have to wait until this new season starts to qualify for weekend league, which is actually not the entire case. So right now on this market, what I would be looking for are just out of packs cards that are down in forms, you know, rule breakers, road to the knockouts, like road to the knockouts, Timo Werner was down so much earlier yesterday. I think he's rebounded back up a little bit right now. But again, I would be going through Footpin, 
Taking a look at cards that are really low, like, goodness me. Speaking of Hyunmin Sun, can we take a look at this man's uh, Road to the Knockouts item at the moment? 749,000 coins for this card? Are you serious? What's the next cheapest? The next cheapest is seven is 680. I'm going to buy that. I mean, that's literally 650. That is like a 30K undercut. I'm going to take that because that is almost the tax value down on that Sun card. So I'm going to take that. That's out of packs. Um, and hopefully that rises up over to over 700,000 coins in the morning because that's just that's just really cheap. There's a lot of panic on this market. Now, also, with a lot of packs being released today, the people that do open their packs are probably going to be going out and completing SBCs because, yes, that base icon upgrade is still at the forefront of a lot of people's minds. One thing you can do tonight, either during rewards or before, is look at this SBC fodder. I know I talked about it a bit on stream. Holland, look at these 88s. A lot of these 88s were at 27, 28,000 coins just on Tuesday uh, in the peak price, and they're now back down at like 24,000 coins, right? So this high rated fodder specifically, 87s all the way up to Lewandowski at 92. Harry Kane at 41,000 coins. I believe he was what? Was he 48? He was 46, 47,000 coins on Tuesday. So these guys have dropped off a bit with a little supply. Um, and of course, people waiting to get rewards to do the SBC. And, uh, you know, I think this could be a play, trying to get a few of these cards on bid. And then as people wake up today on Thursday, get the rewards and go and do the SBC, uh, I think you will see some interesting price movements there on this game. So I do think you will see a bit of a market rise today. Again, you have to watch out for marquee matchups. That is the only thing that I would say be very careful with is we should have marquee matchups today, which would be supplying the market uh, again on these rule breakers. Rule breakers team two, we thought they were going out of packs. Um, and, you know, I wasn't a huge fan of really investing in any of these cards, but especially now seeing that they're going to be in packs until Friday, um, I don't want to touch these cards because that means they're going to get supplied again today at marquee matchups. The only ones that I would even try to trade with if you want to or if you want one for your team this Thursday morning, the only two that I would mess with would probably be Suarez and Foden because those are the most rare cards as a part of this team. Probably Phil Foden being the most, I think, hyped up card out of this team of Rule Breakers team number two. So that's my take on what's going on in the market right now. This is crazy. I didn't expect to see these guys in packs even longer. But that's the loading screen. That's the talk about the promo as well. I think it's going to be an exciting promo. I'm actually excited for this one because it's brand new. Again, I think it really comes down to how EA can structure this promo and the boost that they give the cards. Again, there's obviously we think about the potential for kind of a letdown, but I'm staying positive at the moment and I hope it comes out pretty good. Last thing really fast. Also, did you guys know that there were some mid icons that were given out from the base icon upgrade SBC. Well, check this out. EA compensated people tonight. So this guy got this message in screen. He said, thank you for your patience while the team worked through resolving a content issue that was impacting your account. We have granted you the correct content that can be claimed through the foot store. So this guy tweeted out and said he packed mid Baggio. He packed mid Baggio from the base icon pack, which is obviously an error. But then EA gave him the baby Baggio tradable they gave him the bin the, the baby baggio tradable and you saw this a lot with the baby pele as well in the mid pele if you guys saw any clips going around twitter on monday people were packing mid pele out of the base icon sbc and tonight on the market there were so many baby pele's listed up first owner fresh it was crazy now his price there was some shady stuff going on here with this pele as well because he was all the way down at 3.8 mil and now he's back up at like 4.2 so uh Third owner tradable Pelé right there. Second owner tradable. That's kind of crazy. As there's some crazy stuff going on with icons right now. I'd be very careful. I'd be very, very, very careful at the moment if you were messing around with any icons. The ones that I was looking at tonight, especially the baby icons, uh, had definitely dropped off in price. Uh, I, I was trading with Roberto Carlos the earlier today. I don't know if this guy got supplied at all. See if there's any like fresh ones that have been added. 515. Wow. Yeah. Look at this. 494. That's some. That's some undercuts right there on that card. So. I don't know. I'm really curious to see how this impacts the market today on Thursday as well as more people wake up and see that EA have done that. But that is the new promo talk. We'll probably talk more about it, of course, tomorrow as we head into the actual promo day on Friday. But I'm kind of excited to see how this plays out. I'm down. This EA 99 pace, 99 passing, 99 dribbling. Just give the boost recently, decently quick and we'll be fine. All right, boys, that's the video for today. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. 
and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Out.